Hi and welcome to Tracing World 2 Tees at Rally Line I'm Red Red 1917 your driver today We're taking an empty coaching stock uh, from Thornby Depot down the line to Darlington Station So first thing first we're going to set our points make sure the points are correctly set So that switch is right, that switch is right that switch is wrong we will change that switch nope it's not that one that's right that one's right it's this one that's wrong so that's wrong that's wrong and that is now right so we're going down here onto the line there perfect right so push the control circuit cut key on marker lights onto white uh, put it into forward gear stick it into gear one release the old brakes and then we'll start throttling up so just stick into throttle one position we'll go in uh, put that back into lap ready for brake so this has got the 101 if you've never driven it before it has a gear stick just like a car so you need to keep an eye on your RPMs, just as you would if you're driving a car. Uh, as soon as your RPMs start building, you need to change your gear. So, uh, gear, gear 1 normally gets you up to about 15 miles an hour, which is where we want to be. Uh, we're going to throttle down at this point, but I'm going to change my gear into gear 2. So you've got to let your throttle completely drop down to zero before you re-engage, otherwise your vessel will just shoot straight up in red line. So um, I'll show you that when we actually get moving at a decent speed. So uh, that is a red light, but it's not for me, so we're good. We're proceeding, so we're just dropping off, so we'll just put some throttle in. Hopefully we've not done it yet, we're all right. So I'll put, put this more throttle in, and the rest are building slowly, nicely. Uh, throttle down to number two, throttle down a bit more. Uh, we're now on the main line, so speed will increase again. So we're just going to keep it in throttle two, back down to throttle one. We don't want to be accelerating too fast too soon. Got to keep an eye on the speed limit after all. We're only going 10 miles, so it's not going to take too long this video. A nice short one, but it's, it's good, uh, just a good master class in driving the 101. This one, really, because um, it does get some takes, takes some getting used to, uh, especially if you've never driven a train that's got a gear stick before. So, we're definitely on the main line now, speed is going to increase to 35. Any moment now, we're only two car service, so virtually, as soon as we pass the signal, it's good to go. We're moving on to the outside track. Let my throttle revs build up, and then we'll put into notch three, watching my revs. And we're virtually at the top, kill the rest completely, stick it into gear 3, wait for the cat the revs to drop completely and then build it back up again. And we can go straight into throttle 4, we're building up slowly. This will get us up to 35 miles an hour easily. Um, there we go, we're at 35 miles an hour. Keep it throttle on, and we're moving up. So, my red light, it's time to put it into gear 4. So, into gear 4. Full throttle. We haven't got a lot of power, this thing. When I say we haven't got a lot, I mean we haven't got any really. You're lucky to go up to 60 miles an hour. The speed limit, I think this maximum permitted speed is about 70 if I'm not mistaken. Can't see it on there, but um, you're not going to get over 60 very easily. You need a very long trip. 
and we haven't got that on this route. So at 50 we're going to throttle off and we're just going to coast a little bit. The speed will drop off significantly. It doesn't coast very well, so I'm probably just leaving not one. Keeping the belt up. In fact, I'm going to have to go to notch two because I'm dropping the speed too fast. And notch two is just maintaining the speed. So I remember riding on these as a kid. Um, they weren't very popular passengers at the time. They lacked very, very basic amenities. Um, not a particularly comfortable ride if I remember correctly uh, but there's something about the old DMUs isn't there so I'll just put into Mox 3 right braking got to brake for 30 mile an hour though so we're in lap position at the moment right we'll just throttle off throttle down to 2 um, so it's a self lap brake system so you put it into into apply pressure then you put it back to lap to maintain the pressure and you release the pressure um, as you feel fit uh, so again it's completely different to more modern trains um, so it just takes some getting used to to be honest with you you'll either love it or you'll hate it it's a little bit like marmite other obviously beef spreads are available as well. Actually are other beef spreads available beef powders available? I've no idea. It's just seen in the movie, but it's like my mic. We're just keeping it there. So we've got five hundred yards to go, so we're gonna throttle off. I'm gonna put it down to gear three and then I'm just gonna apply some Brake. So my brakes, see my brake pressure. I don't want to keep it going too much. The reducer, I'm going to have to put some more in because I've left it too late. And that's bringing it down now. So what I'm going to do, hopefully we're going to get down in time. Doesn't look like we are. We've got a little overspeed, and now we'll release the brake and then put it back into the lap. So 21 will give you maximum. So I'm actually going to put it down to leaving gear 3. So we're heading around here. Back into notch 2. And we can now knock it back up. Bulk bottle, as I say, this thing has not got a lot of power. Take up to 45. We're not going to get to 45 before my best climb too much. So, back into gear 4. Wait for the best to drop completely, then build them back up again. So, if you don't wait for the best to drop completely, you will find that you just redline straight away. Got to let your revs completely drop. Six. In fact, I'm not actually driving in that first typically. So what you should do is actually wait for your revs to drop completely, then change your gear, then a reapply. Um, so we've got 60 miles an hour. We're going uphill though, so we'll see if we get there. In fact, we might as well just keep it. At 49.50 because obviously there's a speed limit change coming up. Fifty. I've not got my own system on have I? There we go, the warning system is now on. miles an hour now so full, full beans up to 
60. We may get even get to 60 at this rate. Yeah, we should be alright. A relatively flat bit. You can see that my revs are still really high because obviously my speed, so I'm not, I'm actually at maximum speed here. In fact, I'm sure there's a symbol somewhere telling me what the maximum speed is, but can I see it? Can I rubbish it? Um, just in a 360 in my seat there, I must have some sort of weird owl neck. So, pop a clickety clack. No continuous world rails in the UK in 1980 on these bank lines. I'm actually just going to completely throttle down now. I'll put my gear back into gear 2. And we'll just start slowing it down. I'll let the engine slow itself down. And then we'll start applying some brake shortly. I left it too late last time, didn't I? So we'll, what we'll do is we'll actually start braking now. Don't want a lot of brake, but I'll take it to about. 17, 18. That's bringing it down too fast now. We are climbing, we are heading ridiculously uphill. So I will just let the throttle take it down. I'm still not going to hang on this train. The locomotive, train set, DMU, call it what you like. I still am going to hang on it. We've got a junction here where we've got to be down to 30. I'm not sure I'm going to get there, I'm not, so I'm going to put a little bit more brake on. Take it down to 17. That is reducing speed nicely. Very, very steady. The brakes are rubbish on this train. Be all right. They are all right. So release your brakes. I've already changed my gear, which is the correct gear for my new speed. So this time I've got ridiculously early. I was going to pull. See, with red lines, I'm actually in the wrong gear. So let it drop all the way down, then change up. And then we should be alright. There we go. Around this junction. Quite a nasty bend this one actually. See why it's 30 miles an hour. Quite a slow, tight section. This one here. Um, put a little bit of throttle on. Then back up to sixty. So acceleration well. Don't want to put too much. Throttle on, that should put me in notch 4 now. That will build me up a bit more. So we're actually at max revs, so kill the revs. Let them go completely down, then change into notch gear 4 and back up again. Revs are building slowly this time. 
put it into Mach 4, get some more acceleration going. Find the three mile run into Darlow or Darlington for the uninitiated. Although it's a very slight gradient, 0.3%, we can tell the difference in the acceleration compared to when it was on the flat. It does not like climbing. In fact, this train just doesn't like anything, does it really? Um, it's old. And it's cheap. It was built cheap um, to do a job. And it did its job very well. And it lasted well into privatisation. Idle it down, build it back up again to notch 2, seam virtually at full revs in notch 2, notch 3, a little bit more, but we are virtually at full speed. It will go faster than 60 if you let it. I'm not going to let it. I want to keep it below the speed limit. We've got a mile until we join the East Coast Main Line. Let's see if we can do this. So, buy some break. Down to 15. 15. It's going down. Oh, I want to get it down to 35 relatively soon. Got 800 yards. We've got, we're doing alright. It's coming down, we should be at 35 in plenty of time. We said plenty of time, there's less than 400 yards to go. Right, we'll now release and back into lap. So, put it back into gear 3. coming down to 60 so I'm, I'm just going to actually I've got a yellow so I do actually need to apply some braking release the brake 25 will do as we're under yellow I've not got fantastic braking Release the brakes completely though. And we're running through here. So we've got to actually reduce it down to 15 miles an hour. We are literally on the East Coast main line for a fraction of a second. So we need to bring it down to 15 for the station. Keep it at 15 miles an hour. So it normally goes up to 100. That's because on the East Coast Main Line. And we're now pulling into Darlington Station. So Darlington Station is a bit of a strange one. Um, the East Coast Main Line just goes straight on, and if you want to actually stop at Darlow, you've got to come off the Main Line. 
Uh, there's not many stations like this in the UK. Uh, I can't think of another one where the station uh, is offset off the main line and the th through main line just goes straight on and the station comes off it. It's not a full terminal station. The outside extremity lines are through lines. Obviously we're terminating Darlington so we're using one of the two bay platforms. Speed. And we've stopped. Objection complete. Unlock the door and let some passengers on board. Um, and this was a service from Thornby Yet Depot. Darlington station empty coaching stop it's a really good one actually to learn how to drive the 101 I would really recommend it if you've never driven the 101 before it's 5d50 um, I've only got a silver and I'm not sure why because I didn't do any over speeds I don't think oh I did I did an over speed there didn't I uh, that has cost me a gold Wow, I'm not sure what I can say. I mean, the stop accuracy 0.37 yards, you can't get much closer than that. Um, but apparently, it's only worth a silver. So, there you have it. I've been Red Rev 1917. Uh, this has been Tees Valley Line uh, in the BR Class 101. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something on how to drive the 101. Um, but until next time please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching this video let me know what you think in the comments below um, if you want to subscribe that would be absolutely amazing I would really appreciate a subscription um, I got an extra 10% last time last week so okay it went from 50, 56 to 62 that's still 6, six people which is more than 10% so I will take that. Now if I can increase my channel by 10% every week, I'd get to a thousand sometime before Christmas, I'm sure. Um, well before Christmas when you think about it. But until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.